Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to tell you five things you need to start teaching English online. Um, so I've written a blog post and you can read this at craftypads.com, which is my website. Um, and on this website, you can also get some free printables, which I've made and created. Uh, you just download them. Um, anyway, so let's get started. Uh, so in my news feed, these are the five things you need to uh, to teach English online. I am a graphic designer, but I also teach English online and I work for various um, online companies. Um, so when I started teaching online, the first thing I needed was a camera and uh, the camera on my laptop wasn't good enough. It wasn't clear enough. And also it just meant when I was working on my laptop, because my laptop was on my desk and I was high up, it just meant um, it was a bad angle. You need to have the camera, which is eye level. And the camera I would recommend is the Logitech C920 um, webcam. There are many out there. I've also bought the Papaluk. Um, which was also good, but with the Papaluk, it's uh, for me, it was the angle was too wide. Um, the Logitech C920, um, it's it makes me look good, the coloring is good, um, and also it's not such a wide, a wide angle on it. So, uh, yeah, Logitech C920. And I got it for about, um, it was about 50 or 60 dollars um, during the pandemic this uh, these were went to crazy prices you couldn't get these anywhere and they're one of the probably the most highly recommended if on YouTube at the moment if you have a look um, so Logitech C920 good price and great quality now the headset um, so the headset, this was recommended by the company I work with, which is um, iTutor Group, and it's a Microsoft LX3000 headset. Um, so yeah, the price is pretty good. Uh, and um, it's great that it has noise cancellation. And so it means it will block out any background noise you hear in the distance. And the headset, uh, these are cushioned for the ears, so it's very, very comfortable. Now, there's 3650 on Amazon at the moment, um, which is a good price uh, because these are very durable. I've had my ones for over a year now, and uh, it's USB, so it connects by USB. And uh, yeah, perfect. Okay, this one, uh, a ring light. Okay, so this ring light um, I got and it, I only have one ring light and I also had a desk lamp, but the desk lamp was way too stark. Uh, this ring light is perfect. Um, yeah, you're probably gonna have to wait. It looks like it's currently unavailable at the moment. Um, we'll have to wait for that to come in back into stock, but you can shop around. There's many, uh, there's many ring lights um, on sale at the moment, but yeah, a ring light would be ideal. You could use a desk lamp, but a desk lamp isn't very flattering and it, um, it can cast shadows, but with the ring light, it gets rid of the shadows. So you don't look like something out of a Halloween movie. Although Halloween is coming, so you know, maybe it is appropriate. Um, Okay, number four, uh, you need something at the background. Um, so you can have pictures, you can print them off yourself, or you can get them online um, if you don't want the hassle of printing them off. Um, so these ones are alphabet cards. And uh, again, these are just good. The reason why I would possibly choose something like this is because not only... Um, 
can you put them up behind you and they're big enough for any children to see if you're teaching children or adults. You've got the alphabet there, the English alphabet. Um, you can also use them as a tool. So you can take them off the wall again and use them in the class, depending on what phonics you're working on, uh, what you're teaching at the time. So it's not just decoration, but they're also functional. Um, and yeah, these ones are like $10.99, $10. Um, so they're pretty cheap and they're a large size and they're cards. So they're quite durable and you can keep these for a long time. Um, you can also play games with them. There's lots of games you can play, which I'll probably do another uh, lesson on something like that in the future. Um, so, yeah. And this last one, number five, which I highly recommend are puppets. And I love this company um, because they remind me a lot of the Jim Henson Studios, <laughs> which I love the Muppets. And um, this company, uh, the puppet company, has so many different kind of very well-made, solid, structured puppets with different characters. Uh, so you can browse the, they've got so many on Amazon at the moment. And uh, yeah, I just love them. And um, they've got great personalities. You can get small ones, big ones. Um, I have three of these at the moment, three different ones, um, including the superhero one, which I call Sam. Um, so yeah, they're only like $23 for these kind of sock puppets. Um, again, you can get smaller ones. I have this one. Um, it's $23. Um, they're very light, very easy. Uh, they fit the kids' hands as well as adult hands. Very comfortable and they're great for teaching online because if you have a quiet kid, um, it's then easy to use the sock puppet or the puppet to, um, to create conversation. Um, and eventually, hopefully, the quieter kid will, will get involved by watching what the puppet does. Um, so just for very young kids, it's just, it's also if sometimes they are scared and if we're doing songs, I might uh, put the puppet up in front of the camera and let the puppet uh, lip sync to the song. And then usually the kid uh, relaxes more and gets more into singing the song or um, just more active in the class or even talking to the puppet. Uh, because sometimes, you know, kids can be scary, scared of strangers. Um, but there's so many things you can use the puppet for, um, especially when it comes to asking questions or having a conversation or even asking the colors of the puppet um, for young students. Um, OK, and that's it. Five things you need to start teaching online. Uh, you can see this list on um, craftypets.com or just get onto Amazon or get onto your online store or just go out to your uh, local supermarket and have a look around. Um, but teaching online, it's fun. It's an easy way of making money. It's very flexible. Most companies are. And um, especially during this lockdown and the pandemic that happened, uh, it's a good way of making some extra income. Um, so yeah, anyway, so if you like this uh, video, you can hit uh, subscribe or you can hit a like. Um, again, I'll try and make more. I'm a graphic designer and my part-time, I'm also an English language teacher. <laughs>